Monster Saturday this weekend. It's Ohio State, Miami from Columbus, 345 Eastern on ESPN. Now, last Thursday, Canes took down Florida A&M, 45 zip. Ja'Cory Harris, sharp, 80% completion rate. But who needs to be big this week for the Canes? Well, Randy Shannon hasn't mentioned a whole uh, heck of a lot this week. You know, he's not exactly giving away his game plan. But I personally think that for uh, Miami to win this game, they're going to have to put a lot of pressure on Terrell Pryor, contain him, and play like they did against Florida A&M. Uh, obviously, the competition is not the same, but Miami did have eight sacks in that game. Alan Bailey is an All-America first-round draft uh, type guy. Has to have a big game from the, uh, the right end, left end position. Uh, he, he's got to be big in this game. And their opener, Ohio State, had their way with Marshall, 42-7. Terrell Pryor, three touchdown passes, but will he be up for the test this weekend against Miami, and how will the Vest use his star quarterback? I think for sure you're going to see him use the more dynamic Terrell Pryor rather than the one you saw against Marshall in the season opener last week. I mean, you're going to see Jim Trussell in the offense lean on Terrell Pryor as a passer, but also as a runner. What, what sets Terrell Pryor, apart from almost every other quarterback in the nation this year, is his incredible running ability and his speed. And uh, in a game of this magnitude, you will see Jim Trussell and Terrell Pryor use all their weapons. Hurricanes are making their first visit to Columbus since Woody Hayes was there. And something that should make Miami fans feel a little uncomfortable and Ohio State fans feel confident is that the Bucks have won 26 of the 28 non-conference games they've hosted under Jim Tressel. As mentioned, you can catch the game 340 Eastern Saturday on ESPN.